Did we actually get rabies from the dog? What is going on at the end of the last episode? What happened? So Subaru started to get nauseous, started to like get cold, puking, walked out, but that's not what killed him. I heard metallic sound. We didn't see anything other than that. We saw a table leg and then his arm got split up, got put in the chandelier. And then his eyeballs started rolling because his head got squished. And now we got to think about like, who could it have been? Let's think about the motives. Roswell is still suspicious of Subaru because he seems like a person that showed up out of nowhere during this political unrest and is trying to get close to, you know, the chosen one of our faction, which is Amelia, right? There is still a feasibility that even if Subaru helped defeat Elsa, that maybe he's playing the long con and that's why you know Subaru maybe is still working with Elsa we know it's not the case and Roswell could you know be suspicious of that so keep that in mind he was making these kind of gestures as he was petting Ram but Ram was also kind of in defense for Subaru in the first iteration calling Subaru and Amelia just kids right so I don't think it's Ram because she was vouching for us in the first run granted the second run maybe it was Ram, because the first iteration that never happened, I'm not sure. Rem is an interesting candidate because we went on a date with her and she was being very suspicious throughout the entirety of the second run, right? She was giving us a side eye, just kind of monitoring closely as Subaru and Ram was interacting. I thought that maybe it's just Subaru and Ram getting a little bit close together and Rem being a little jealous or something, but that was kind of... Either it was a lie or dispersed because then it was like, no, Rem just wants to give you a good haircut. And I'm like, is that really true? Then we went into the village and had a date. And, you know, the whole topic of, do you like Onis? And Subaru said, yes. An accidental Riz moment, in my opinion, because Rem probably is an Oni if she had that sort of reaction. But she smiled as well. So that means that Rem is also someone that's on Subaru's side on that second run. So is the final option just simply not Betty? It's not Amelia. Um, as much as I joke about Amelia thinks, you know, Subaru is cringe and wants to just kill him. Is it Roswell? I mean, that's the most intuitive guess based on all these suspects. And remember, it can't be Ram because she vouched for us in, run, in the first run. And it probably can't be Ram because she smiled and we had a good date. Now, that could be just a lie. And maybe I'm reading too deep into it. Maybe I am looking this from the vision and perspective of Subaru, the white knight. And think that the you know the moment with Rem was actually whole, wholesome when at the end of the day she was still suspecting us. I don't really know. Regardless, it's time for run three. And I wonder how it's gonna feel after another run. All that effort, all that progression built with the twins. Gone. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Cause his arm got cut off. Oh shit, I'm like, what the f yeah, he's holding to his left thumb that got cut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he died. Yeah, yeah. It was painful. I'm like, Jesus Christ. It's there. Meaning. <laughs> Rem and Ram is here, right? <laughs> this is an interesting one. <laughs> the first time, they were shitting on us. The second time, we ran out. The third time, we scared the shit out of them by waking up just going, Aah! <laughs> Feel bad for the girls. Well, no, don't feel fat for the girls. Like, these two are still candidates, right? I don't trust anyone in the mansion. Betty and Amelia Puck is probably safe. I still don't trust these two. Like, the, one of these two could have killed us under Roswell's orders. Even if Roswell himself didn't do it, he definitely gave the order, and these two are literally his minions. So, like, I could believe it. Natsuki <laughs> Not crying. I thought that he would be depressed, just like last run. But this time, he's actually full of energy and life. Okay. Third run, baby. Here we go. Well, that's the weird thing too, because the first one we died in our sleep. I don't even know how we died. Second run, he started to shiver, puke, but that's not what killed him. It was something in the hallway with the metallic sound. So there's some inconsistency. And then there was the bite of the dog, the wound that was shown in, you know, the second run. But in the first one, it was Band-Aid stuff. What if it's because we didn't Band-Aid up the bald dog bite 
that we got sick here, but the first one, and I don't fucking know. First time, we don't know anything. Like, we can't differentiate. It's, it's kind of mysterious. He just died in his sleep. The sound, the sounds. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense that he wouldn't think that everyone else is, like, against him here. Because, like, I truly believe that he is, like, he probably thinks that he's, like, a safe space, but, like, you are being heavily monitored, my man. You are the most suspicious motherfucker. Like, he, he thinks that Roswell's in danger? I think Roswell is the fucking danger, bro. Betty is spinning. Betty's spinning. What's going on here? Are we walking in circles? Okay. I'm like, what's going on Very cute. Pa padoru, padoru. <laughs> Fucking cute ass. Wari, wari. Oh, also another thing of why I think Betty's innocence is cleared and why she didn't kill Subaru is she mentioned, I suppose I have nothing to do with that. I forget if that was episode four or five, but she clearly mentioned that. And I was like, huh. So you already know that Subaru might get fucked up, but she's like, Turning like a blind eye. So like, she must know the secret. Like, let's fucking ask her. I think she's one of the few people that we can actually trust in here right now. What are we? Yeah. Yeah, what is that? What? No, it's not. That, that, that's is he so prideful that he doesn't even see himself as the bug here? I've decided that at every point, whenever Subaru says something, I'm going to try to walk back from the pride thing and try to see it from his perspective of pride. Uh, okay. so he's acting tough right now. So even him acting tough is because he's prideful. Because he doesn't want to show his weak side. I don't fucking know. I'm really reaching right now. <laughs> I'm gonna always do this. Fuck you. Like, throughout the entirety of season one and season two, every point I'm gonna try to nitpick him and be like, oh, it must be because he's prideful. <laughs> I think she's just being tsundere as fuck. I think that Betty actually kind of likes him. She's probably lonely as fuck, bro. Always just like reading this shit. And then Subaru, you know, happened to find her and it's just like, boom. Why did I start with this pride? Because the moment they said Witch of Envy, which is a seven deadly sins, this motherfucker also said pride in the same episode. And there's been multiple occurrences of the word pride being used by Subaru himself. Is that not the show trying to fucking tell you something? Like, Witch of Envy! Pride! It's just a matter of time until wrath, gluttony, fucking uh, lust, and all that other shit happens too, right? So I'm being very intentional whenever there's a moment with Subaru and, it's, and, and, and the theme of pride being like, you know, come back into the circle of his own characterization. Yes, you're the fucking bug. You are the bug. Bye bye. <laughs> Imagine he died there. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Morning, Amelia Tun. <laughs> we are not okay. <laughs> he got poop on him right now. Ew. <laughs> Stinky. Okay, three second rule, bro. You're covered in shit. It doesn't work like that. No, no, no. Even if my food dropped in the manure, I would not allow three second rule. That shit happens on the ground without any other poop on the ground. <laughs> Cap, how many times have you been told that if you get fucking uh, bird shit on you, that you're supposed to be lucky? It's just like adults tell you, oh, a bird, a pigeon shit on you on your way to school. You're such a lucky kid. It's just like, lucky? What the fuck are you talking about? Technically, it is lucky in the opposite spectrum, right? The chance of that happening is very slim, and it happened to you. I don't think that's, like, good, though. It's like the- you got lucky in the other fucking bad way. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 
来ていきなりなんてパッケンああそれじゃあ洗うよおい<laughs> As he fucking drowns and dies. <laughs> Could you imagine if he dies here? <laughs> Very cute. Holy shit, what a shower. You drive me off? Kind of, I guess. That hesitation and that look on your face, the pout and the hesitation. There was a slight delay before you fucking answered that. And also, I guess Puck uses. Well, I thought he was like ice specific, but technically ice is a solid form of water. So that was like water application there. I'm trying to think of like what other elements of magic can like, Puck use with through spirit arts. <laughs> wow, that's so friendly. <laughs> Special move. <laughs> that's pretty good, right? Now. Is that Riz or is she laughing at you? Listen, listen. Just because a girl is laughing and smiling at you doesn't mean that she's falling for you, okay? She could literally think that this is such a dumb situation. You look stupid and I'm laughing. Listen. <laughs> I still don't think Amelia looks at Subaru as a man. I still think he's a random kid that's forcing himself as a fucking simp, thinking that he's in with her. But every time Amelia's like, why are you doing this? What the fuck? We are never getting back to the former glory of round one in episode one. That was the perfect fucking run and getting close to Amelia. Like, we're never, we've fallen off. We peaked in episode one. Do you understand how fucked that is? We're never getting there, bro. <laughs> とりあえず最初のアシストありがとうございます。お父さん。どれのお父さんじゃないよ。やめて。ファーザーインローフ。二人ともあれだね。スバルもさ。ホモよ。ウォー。エミリアタンの笑顔は。エミリアタン、スマ
I don't know, because like this is already too far off, right? It's the first day. But imagine Roswell has already made up his mind that on like the fourth night that he's going to send the orders or he's going to kill him. And then Subaru says this shit. And then Roswell will be like, Huh? How would you? Because that would be even more suspicious. Everything he does here, you're fucked if you do, fucked if you don't. You know, no matter what we do, it's just suspicious. We're cooked. We should just leave. Exactly. This time, I don't know why I didn't think of this, but if I was Subaru, I would literally ask him, you are the country's greatest magician in the Dragon Kingdom of Lugunica. Take me as your apprentice and teach me magic. Now, I'm not sure if that's possible. I don't even know if his gate is activated, but that's what I would ask. With a guy like this here, bro, I would love to get taught by him. He is the number one magician. But again, does that come off suspicious? That he's trying to get close to Roswell in his secrets of magic and should be given such power, right? Again, another suspicious thing, maybe. <laughs> Alright, permanent guest route. Permanent guest route. Interesting. Because... Because you know what happened here, right? Because before she hiccuped, two times Butler, I think both are hiccups. He just changed the timeline here, went here with the... With the, it was a sneeze hiccup. Yeah, okay, it was all separate. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting though. Because like she did a hiccup and it was very cute. This time a yawn. Okay, okay, okay. Isn't that rude? What is that Everyone's just staring. Uh, sorry, that's not very maid like for me. My apologies. Rem. Damn! That was cold? TikTok, TikTok. That's the sound! That was the sound! Unless this is a red herring, like that was the metallic sound I thought dragging on the ground. Are they trolling? Are they trolling right now? Can you be more obvious right now? That's the sound! The person that killed me, maybe? So he doesn't even believe it could be Roswell. He doesn't even know it could be Roswell, huh? Like, he doesn't even suspect him at all because he thinks that people in this mansion are in danger, right? His pride, I guess, deludes him to think that, like, everyone else is in danger, but it's like, no, idiot, you're the one in danger, and there's a fucking predator right now just, like, monitoring your ass. <laughs> Roswell's chain is misleading. Okay, we'll go with misleading for now. Hi. Also, yeah, it, it, it is kind of weird that, like, also, I forgot to mention, like, Subaru just, like, randomly going around room to room. What are you searching for? That is very suspicious. I, I just forgot to mention that. Yeah, like he's just going room to room and room, like checking random spots. Like it, it is so fucking suspicious right now. We're cooked. Roswell probably wants to kill him right now already, bro. <laughs> that that look, bro. He's like, hmm. お客様、どうぞ。お、ありがとう。一緒に飲む。No. <laughs> Damn. This run, the maids don't give a fuck even less. Well, last time we were actually working and they had a responsibility to train us, right? They probably didn't want to hang out with Subaru, but they still did because it's part of the job. Now he's just a permanent fucking guest. The maids are probably thinking, Is our paycheck gonna go up? I don't think so. So what? I gotta take care of this dumbass. <laughs> yeah, I'd be pissed off too. If I was Rem and Ram, I'd be like, <laughs> The fuck is this idiot? My workload just got increased. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Next day, second day. <laughs> she always says, I suppose, I suppose. Do you suppose Betty is lonely though? Like, maybe it's a tinfoil theory, but because it seems very lonely in the library and Subaru is the only one that can find her, I feel like maybe a part of her, I suppose, is a little happy that she found him. Maybe? Is this my headcanon? I suppose. <laughs> Oh, good, good, good. Okay, here we go, here we go. 
What is it? A curse. Okay. So there's different things now. Okay, there's magic that we know that you have to activate a gate to fucking use. And now there's a curse system. Shamans are a subclass of magic and spirit art users. Right, right, right. There's a spirit art users, which is immediately you make a pack with the spirit, lesser spirits, greater spirits. Puck is a full spirit. Uh, there's a pact, and then there's magic, which is different. Have we seen someone actually use magic so far? All I've seen is Amelia. I don't think. Well, no, no, no uh, uh, Betty probably just fucking wind. I don't know. And then there is subclass of magic and spirit art, which is shamans. <laughs> In the northern nation of Gusteco, northern nation, I think Reinhardt mentioned northern provinces where Elsa's uh, traits like the black hair, pale skin, black blade, something, right? Gusteco? They're useless? Really? Mm -hmm. The mana sucking thing that she did to us when, we, when she corrected us. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Mana is basically one's very life force. Okay, 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 okay. I wonder in this show there's mana transfer, which only happens through, you know, some kind of intercourse. <laughs> She's so tiny. She's so fucking tiny, bro. Oh, man. She didn't do it in this timeline, though? My man, you are... You're not paying attention to the story. The timeline doesn't matter because when Subaru worked up, woke up and got shocked by Betty, that did not actually have the checkpoint yet. After he woke up from that shock was a checkpoint in last episode when Subaru was crying and went to Betty and Betty realized, you know, Subaru was there. And Subaru said, oh shit, you remember me. And that was the whole thing about this checkpoint being special and how Betty is like the soul healing kind of like bonfire if you're gonna use a, like a dark souls example <laughs> she's so oh. tiny bro well with all that magic you can't lift yourself up <laughs> the little drill lolly so tiny just can't get it to today's episode is a lot of betty scenes huh the first time was emilia focused when Roswell a little bit. The second time was with the twins, with the Rem and Ram. And, and this time, the third run, a lot of Betty focus. <laughs> yeah, can we learn how to do that? What? Nobody but Bubby and I can. Not even Roswell. Because of the spiritual connection with Puck and Betty, I still am assuming Betty is a spirit or some sort of spirit, spirit related, affiliated, because she treats Puck like family. Not even Roswell, the strongest magician, can use it, so okay. From the mana sucking moment. Dude, his organs got fucked. Jesus, Betty. I didn't realize. I thought it was like a shock. But like you blood loss. The organs were messed up. Organs were restored. This lolly was not fucking around. She, she took that drill lolly NPC insult to the like really personally. <laughs> Who healed him after? She did, right? She, she healed the organs. Betty's the one that did it. Aww. Why am I saying aww? You're the one that fucked him up. No, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Why, why are we riding with Betty right now? Is she talking about the Elsa? Oh. What's the Elsa shit? Sorry. I thought the injury here was from the, or uh, the, the, the mana suck. But okay, 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 okay. Elsa stuff. Okay. Damn. That cut fucked his organs up? Because it was like a, such a small slice? Interesting. I thought that was like a small slice and it would have fine, but damn. The blood loss ha happened a lot. Yeah, the organs fell like, God, I got it. I, I thought this is Nimona. Okay. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Betty. I, I, I misunderstood the story. Thank you, Betty. <laughs> is his pride going into effect and acting like this 
I think so. Head cannon. Zendai. Yakamashi kashira. Iyagari sugi na no kashira. Poop. To. Kyo mo daijoubu? Poop. Kekkyoku. He's just defending his image of Amelia. Nope. That's happening because he's prideful. Fuck you. It's always pride. I don't care. I'ma just see something. I slap that shit. Pride, motherfucker. Keyword wa noroi no wakan ne. Shinimodori no jokin ga maku dewa sando shinde. Yondo me de to konkai o stekai to nagesteru tsumori wa moto na kizugatte kure to pakku ni wa tsutaeta shi. Ii yo. Nashi da kedo. Ria o anjiteru no wa tashika mitai da. No asa. Oh, we're leaving? Ram, 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 ram. Oh, it's You're a leecher. You're a parasite. <laughs> You're a freeloader calling. I love Ram's personality. She doesn't hold back. She will just call you out, bro. She don't give a fuck. That's my girl, Ram, bro. Still, I think that Ram is better than Ram. Last episode, yeah, Ram had a little date moment and she smiled, but I still... Ram's personality just aligns more with me. She's kind of like me, you know? Just petty motherfucker just saying how it is. I love her. Wrath! Wrath mentioned! Oh, oh, oh my god, guys. Seven deadly sins. Wrath! I don't think it probably doesn't matter. Uh, uh, unless Ram is literally Wrath incarnate and the tea is poisoned here and this is the thing that's actually fucking a Subaru at night and it wasn't a bite and it's not the dog rapies. This tea right now is the thing that's fucking Subaru up at night. I don't know. My theory crafting is going all over the place now. I love her nerves. Oh, 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 ah! Ah! Oh, little, 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 little feet work. What was more cuter? What's cuter, Ram moving her feet like this, or uh, uh, Betty spinning in circles? Fairy <laughs> <laughs> tales. We're literate now. The ogre. Oni, Oni, Oni again! Oni mentioned again, right? Because Ram, Oni, Ram, Oni, they gotta be Oni twins. This is the second time both of them reacted like that to the Oni. Um, isn't this basically, uh... The one of the, the they there was two onis blue and red. One the the villagers were afraid of the onis. I think I forget exactly which color, but one of the only friend decided I'll be the villain to make you look good. And when you save the villagers from me, um, people will love you. And then the other oni obviously gets outcast. That's the story, right? <laughs> Can't believe Genshin Impact literally copied that story and just pasted it onto Arataki Ito. Are you allowed to just do that? <laughs> isn't that the Ito's- See, that's the fucked up thing, right? Because you literally just said, isn't this the Ito story quest without realizing that shit was literally just taking inspiration from the actual story lore. Like, this is- Like, <laughs> that's fucked up that you think that shit from Genshin Impact first and foremost. There we go. Man, this story's so sad, though. Every time I listen to this story, I just feel bad. It's, it's genuinely so fucking sad. Blue Onimasta. No, Blue Oni! So what's that story supposed to tell us right now? That Ram is the Red Oni? And that Rem sacrificed herself for Ram? To be where she is now? Like, how does that story relate to these two sisters who are clearly the Blue and Red Onis? But he was gone! Not like this, just saying right. Then both Oni should have just decided to kill the human village and lived happily ever after together as Oni bros, bro. This is fucked up. Ooh. I hate this story, it's so sad! No! How does that relate to Rim and Rim? Oh fuck, that was not fun. It's so sad. Like what? 
<laughs> Speak your shit, Ram. How should it have been done? Let's go. Yeah, I agree. They're all, they're all fucking stupid. I agree. Base take, Ram. Because he's prideful, he wants to be rewarded for my effort. But at the same time, it's very backwards because he doesn't seem to be ambitious because every wish he fucking picks is something so stupid like being a butler. But at the end of the day, it's all just to get the closer to Amelia, so I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Still, I think it's the Red Ogre who's beyond help. Do you think Ram is, like, talking about herself right now? Hmm. Like, there's gotta be a way how this story relates to the sisters. And I feel like Ram may be even projecting her backstory right now through this story in an ambiguous way. Like, what did Ram lose? That's why I don't- They're just both mates here. What did, what did she lose? Team up and fuck the humans. Yeah, I don't care. I'm a villain, bro. Oni bros, let's go. Huh. Broke off the horns? If the Red Ogre truly wanted to befriend the humans... Would it be that easy just to snap off your horns and be like, I'm not an Oni anymore. But like, the horn is simply one characteristics of an Oni. You still look like a fucking Oni, you know? I'm not sure if this would work, Ram. We're the main character of a fucking isekai, baby. We do what's impossible. We fucking dual wielding. Both of them. We'll figure out a way to take both. There's gotta be another option. Oh, dual wielding, are we? This is getting intimate. And wait, 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 wait! What does it mean that he picked both? Exactly! Very prideful. To have the audacity to pick both of them. You think this is lust happening? A little bit of lust, a little bit of everything. No, we gotta pick one seven deadly sins. Unless Subaru is supposed to be like the compilation of every fucking sin. I'm still sticking with I'm I'm one trick ponying pride, but maybe I'm tunnel visioning. Maybe I am. Maybe there's opportunities. Maybe, like, he is supposed to literally, like, portray all these different types. I don't, I don't know. Greed, <laughs> lust, pride, <laughs> sloth, because he's fucking lazy. Oh, it's the story here. The dragon. The kingdom of dragon. And the witch of envy. Okay, okay, what is the- Yo, yo, what is this folk story? Fuck the Oni story, what is this? Covenant with the dragon. Covenant? I thought the noble drag... The royal family signed a covenant with the dragon. I was under the assumption that the dragon was a figurative word for the king. But the dragon actually does exist far away. And the king's descendants all die from that epidemic that only hits his bloodline. Got it. Great waterfall. What's the contract? Until the royal fa But the royal family is dead though, are they not? Beyond the waterfall. What waterfall? Okay, this, is, this sounds like very important lore, right? Beyond the great waterfall, the noble dragon still protects this nation from far away. It will do so until its contract with the royal family is full. This feels such important fucking lore that's just being sprinkled in, in the early game that's gonna come important later on. What? Yeah, they, they died. Only the gods know. Now, I don't know, no spoilers, but I don't know if this is like a figurative thing of saying only the gods know or like, you know how tensor angels fucking exist. We're not talking figuratively, you know, these are actual living entities, but no one knows what the dragon wants. Didn't the royal family that signed the contract recently die out? Yeah, but no one knows what the dragon wants. So I guess the contract, if it's still viable, even if the family is dead, it must be beyond just a royal family's, like, I don't know, life, like, saving them. There's something else? No one knows what the dragon wants. It's the nation's current situation. Only the gods know. <laughs> Only the dragon knows what the dragon will do. Got it. <laughs> Which... <laughs> Fuck you! That's the one thing I need to know and you're not gonna talk about it? Come on! Are you serious?
<laughs> the Witch of Envy Sotella has been mentioned from the fucking beginning. It's like, nope, I gave you the dragon. Fuck you. I'll see you in six episodes later and I'll, then I'll tell you the fucking lore. Fuck you. Come on. Ooh, shit. I know the witch is a taboo, but I still want to know. What? Because Rem must have made that sacrifice. And it would feel too much. That story, I think it hit dear. I don't know exactly what they sacrificed. There was the mention of breaking the horns and just showing up. But other than that... I mean, I, we haven't even seen their horns, right? Their bangs are hiding their foreheads, but... All right, all right. Don't tell Rim the story, or you might fucking die, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. Tell me the story. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. And if there is different witches, that'll be so hyped, too, because this is Witch of Envy, right? And I'm like, what, is Pride? Is, is Subaru like the Witch of Pride or some shit? I don't know how the fuck that's gonna work, but look at the imagery of this thing. Satala's like white hair just engulfing what is this? A fucking like castle? What happened in the past? What's she envious of? That's another thing. What is the witch so envious of? What does she want that other people have that she can't have? We need to know more about like you know the different cause it'd be nice to actually see her for once, but like fuck. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Oh, we're leaving, right? It is pride that prevented him from taking a dragon carriage. What are you, my mom? Yeah, what the fuck? Or mom zone? What? Talking with you makes any evil scheme seem to lose its purpose. Very intentional choice of wording here, huh? Huh. I won't say anything I shouldn't. I swear to the dragon. I don't know, he put something in there. It's a little, a little extra fancy. What, what, what about if you swear to the witch? It's probably the most like taboo shit you could ever do, right? Dragon good, witch bad. Okay. That was pretty fucking bad, bro. That was terrible. This run, I think that we spent a lot more time with Ram. Betty, Ram for sure. I don't think Ram is really intimate with us this run compared to last run. If we go off the intimacy based off the date smile. We can hear you, okay? Bye bye. Wonder where he's going. Oh, they going to Appa Man? This is still part of his plan. Oh, he still has the paper bag, the plastic bag, bro, right there. Did you see that shit? Yeah, he got the plastic bag. He got the potato chips and the tonkatsu ramen still. Wonder what Roswell put in his bag though. Okay. <laughs> it's creepy. Is your vision that good? This looks pretty far away. But okay. Right, because this is the fourth night, right? Well, it's the fourth day, but nighttime, this is when she should die. So if we escape the mansion and try to see what's going to happen this time, this is a pretty good idea. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he stole the kitchen knife. <laughs> this is pretty creepy. This is look like a stalker route right now. Bro has a fucking knife. He can see Emilio's room. He's like stalking. This doesn't really look too good for my man Subaru right now. <laughs> I think you're still gonna die, bro. I don't think they're gonna die, bro. I think they're gonna kill you. We remember, Subaru. We remember. Don't you dare think that your efforts are wasted. I remember that shit. Oh, it's a deadly sunset. <laughs> the night is pitch fucking red. Credits are rolling in without the end day. Oh shit. Oh shit, something's about to fucking go down. Oh, this time we didn't get bit by the dog. That's right, that's right. Okay, straight up. If he doesn't get nauseous and puking here today, 
that means that the dog literally gave him rabies. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm committing to that. Because that is something that we didn't do. We did not go to the village. We didn't get the bite. If he doesn't get cold and puke, I'm straight up blaming that on the rabies. <laughs> oh! That's it. That's the metal shit. That's gotta be the metal shit, right? Right, right? That was, that was the metal chase dragging on the ground, right? Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck is attacking them? <laughs> nice rope. <laughs> I love how he has said a name technique there. <laughs> what? Emergency escape! What is it? What is it? I saw the weapon. This is good though. We got, we got intel this time. Oh, we're fucked. Yo. Using your jacket like a fucking matador, bro? Okay, good luck. I mean, shit, let's go. Dude, that haunting metallic sound on the ground. <laughs> Oh, how the fuck did that work? He caught that shit with this jacket? What is that jacket made of? I don't think it's Betty. I don't think it's Betty. And Roswell is the greatest magic user in the kingdom. I don't think he would use a mace like this. I don't think it's Amelia either. Meaning we have Rem and Ram. It's going to be one of those two. I have a little bit more... Well... No, because I was going to say, like, it doesn't make sense. Because like, I was going to say it's Rem. Because in this time, we did not have that intimate moment in that date in the village and the smile. That's why last run, I just, like, dismissed Rem as a possibility. So is it Ram then? Maybe it's, like, switching every night. Maybe I'm being too tunnel visioned into thinking it's the same assailant every night, but it's been rotating. But regardless, the chains fucking happened, right? At nighttime, last run, and this run as well. But because they're twins, I could totally see them both using the same weapon type as well. I don't know. I don't know. It's... it's who is it? Who is it? That's a maid! That's a maid! So it's either Rem or Ram. I'm gonna just assume it's Rem this round, but last round it was Ram. But last round, Ram was also pretty intimate with us. What? Like, we've gotten along with Ram every time. Unless the fucking smile on that day was a lie, then it was Rem both nights? I don't know. What's the hair color? That's Rem! That's Rem! Y'all vote this girl over Ram, Betty, Amelia. She about to fucking kill us. She probably killed us last round too if that wasn't Ram and this your favorite girl. What is wrong with you people? We're getting a cliffhanger soon, right? Cliffhanger! The sound of chains! Goddamn. What a fucking episode of that. Holy... Like, I knew it was going to be one of them, but like, Rem, it makes sense this run, right? This run, it makes sense because we did not have the same level of intimacy in this run compared to the last run. And last run, then, what was it? Was it really Ram? I feel like we got along with Ram both times. And again, if that's not the case, maybe Rem's just a double-sided bitch and she was smiling trying to get her guard down or something. I don't fucking know, but another peak episode of ReZero where we're trying to figure out what's going on. So what did we learn today? In the third run, I guess um, Subaru got acquainted with Betty more. We learned about the existence of curses, which is a something that like, uh, sorry, uh, there's curses, but also the magical shock stuff and something about Roswell can't do it, but like Betty and, you know, a Buppy, which is Puck can do it because maybe their spirit of affiliation, northern, northern continent, you know, hexes, shamans, blah, 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 stuff like that. And then other than that, there was a little bit of lore, right? With the dragon and the witch. Yes, the only story is important and it probably uh, relates to... Here, yo, what if you tell <laughs> Rem the Oni story? Rem, stop! Wait, do you know of the tale of the blue and the red Oni? <laughs> Let me tell you a folk story right now. <laughs> but Rem said if she heard it, she'd be pissed off, so maybe that's a bad thing. Um, what are we gonna do? Well, there's plot right now, right? The dragon is beyond the waterfall, and I don't know if the contract is up, 
but it's still protecting over the dragon kingdom of Lugunica. And the witch, the uh, envious witch, right? The witch of envy, Satella, uh, just fucked shit up a long time ago. And it's basically Voldemort. It's a taboo word to say. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Roswell did give us a little something in the bag. Maybe that something will come clutch. Maybe that something was a fucking tracking radar, bro. That's how Rem found us? Because, like, I'm pretty sure Rem and Ram are under the orders of Roswell right now. That Roswell literally stopped by fucking GPS. And he literally told us. And so, I, I don't know. Like, he even told us. He's straight like, yeah, put that shit in your bag. There's no way he would have been so confident. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But next episode, bro. We gotta beat Rem. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat Rem. I think we're about to fucking die next episode. Let me go, eh. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.